Stay away, fish. You don't want to come this way. Oh, no. All right. Juggler fish. I'm still looking out for that banjo fish. <laughs> yeah. Banjo's banjo's not available. What? What? I got a new selection here. Just a Band-Aid fish? No. Yeah, we got it. <laughs> right, There's a guitar this? fish. A shrimp. Shrimp. Yeah. Oh. One after the next. Just keep them coming. <laughs> To the frame. Oh, there's another fish. Shadow of a fish. Rini, do you know if there's a video on the website that explains how the ship maneuvers happen during a dive? One of our viewers is curious about that. Uh, there is a, um, I, under, I'm not sure what tab it is, but there's something about uh, the team and uh, some of the positions. I believe there's a video on navigation, and it might mention a bit about the uh, dynamic positioning system and how we maneuver the ship. Go ahead and push on in there. Dave. Can also talk about it now if we're not doing anything. We're not doing more nodules. Oh, what is that? It's a little urchin. It, is it an urchin? I'd say it's an urchin. It's one of those spine to body spine high spine to body ratio urchins. That guy has a toothpick wherever he goes. <laughs> hey, hey, <laughs> call back to earlier that jokes call that you back. guys all made fun of. Yeah. <laughs> Is, is that like the there's something one? in Argus uh, dead center? A white <laughs> unidentified white <laughs> football. Yeah, football <laughs> check it out. Cuttlefish bone. Okay, full wide, please, Dave. I've got some footsteps up the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a UWO coming up. Don't scare me. UWO. What is UW, unidentified wet object? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think it's a sand patch. No. Yeah. Oh. oh. What is that? Huh. Unidentified sand patch. <laughs> huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Definitely a UWO. Wait, is it a sand patch? Looks like it. It is a sand patch. Go ahead and push it in there, please, Dave. Yeah, let's confirm. Okay. <laughs> I'm a betting woman. This is a sand patch. Something turbated that. <laughs> <laughs> you think uh, a bio or non-bio? I think it was a bio turbation. Okay. Oh. I I'm really sorry I missed seeing the spoon worm. Oh. Did you guys see that? I saw the dive images. They're gross. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> spoon worm. Oh, its right. tongue is so long. What? I'm not sure that was a tongue. There, what are we? I mean, is there an image I can look at here? Yeah. So apparently, we <laughs> saw all those little <laughs> pop-ups of sediment. Apparently, one of them had this big long thing sticking out of it. Oh. And they touched it, know? and it retracted. Yes, I. You I want to come up and delta, Jake? Yeah. Like the um, Star Wars thing. Uh, or Boba Fett. Got oh, yeah. What's that thing Snar called? Snar. Did you see this? Sarlacc. Sarlacc. I was thinking uh, Snarlacc. I was oh, like, that's not that. right. Mm. Yeah, there it is. Wow. This has got some pictures of it. Which computer you on? Yeah, she's on her she's phone. On her I just, phone. <laughs> I just uh, uh, right. took a screenshot so I'd remember to get the series when I... Yeah, it was weird. And some of those mounds they found last night were really big. Oh no. There's one crinoid behind us. Small sign of life. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right. Here we
we go. We're still moving, right? We're yep. still moving. We're going 50% faster. <laughs> I think that's an underestimate. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah, I think this is a question for you. Um, in the wet lab, there, someone's asking what is the device near the camera with the metal stand and the clear rubber tube attached and the clear beaker and somebody's pouring liquid in it. I think that was you. Yeah, sure. <laughs> um, that is the eDNA um, processing setup. So the liquid that we're pouring in there is the seawater that we collect in the Niskins. Um, we pair it with a rock collection. Um, and then the setup, the stand that the water's going into is a um, filter hooked up to a pump. So we're pumping the water through um, more so pulling the water through the filter. I think it's a 0.45 micron um, filter. And uh, then that filter gets pulled off and preserved in a special liquid. And then it will be looked at for eDNA. So trying to understand um, if there's a DNA signature of everything that's living in this area um, so we can identify things that we don't see with our eyes. Great, thank you. Have we ever put a UV light on the ROVs? Not that I know of. Yeah, Ooh, that. have we ever tried a black light? See what glows. Like a velvet uh, poster. <laughs> Dark biosphere. Dark biosphere. <laughs> My favorite nightclub. <laughs> Dark biosphere. <sighs> Sarah, do you know if they run PCRs on the filter residues? PCR. <laughs> Polymerase yes. chain reaction. Yes. What is it? Polymerase okay. chain reaction. It, oh, I don't know. It, like multiplies. <laughs> it goes to a different lab for that, right? That's yeah. enough. Yeah, we don't do we don't do PCR yeah. on, the, on the ship. But there are some scientists that use samples. You don't say. Oh. <laughs> I shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> Is there any risk for small fish to get caught in the ROV's propellers? It's never happened. <laughs> never. <laughs> We've never seen it. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, yes. That uh, it's not an uncommon occurrence. Yeah. I don't know about this ROV, but certainly others I've worked with. Yeah, it happened. Yeah. It's it not happens. really any ways to avoid it. With Hercules, you can try to drive around, but Argus is kind of just. Yeah, right, drag it through the water and it just happens. Some cool, like, feeding trails through the nodules there. How's this uh, speed there? So we're still going point three. Yeah, it works for me. We cover some ground here. We have one more hour left. How far can we get going? Point three knots. How far we've gone? Uh, one second. Should be able to go three hundred meters or so. Yeah, so we'll make it, we'll be like 100 meters shy of waypoint two. 
of the watch change if we don't stop. And how far have we gone so far? Gone about 350 meters so far, and I think we can do another 350 if we don't stop. Nice. What uh, what depth would that put us at? Hmm. Like 3,400. Uh, let's see. About a hundred yeah. meters shallower than we're at. Oh really? Oh, it's yeah. pretty shallow slope. Want to zoom in on this guy, Dave? Headless chicken, right? This guy. Oh yeah. Oh, that's so cool. I think so. What is it called? Headless chicken. Oh, I don't know what the. <laughs> it's a hall theory. Um, is it the headless chicken? It's the headless chicken one. Yeah. Is that like a real common name? It's it's the yeah the common name for this guy. Cool. Oh, very cool. They like to swim in the water column, so this is a really neat shot. What's walking? Is it taking uh, the first steps? <laughs> oh, it's eating. Is it eating? Oh my god. Wow. Oh. Is it Aniastes? This is one of the cucumbers that uh, Liz Miller wanted. Sure looks like it's that, a little doesn't it? big for the slurp. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty big for the slurp, guys. It's so weird. <laughs> oh my gosh. That it's is just an grabbing awesome shot. Yeah. Nom, nom. Handfuls. Oh, that is a cool just shot. Just shoving it in its little mouth. Wow. Which is probably... Maybe also it's butt. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> down a little more. You tilt down a little bit. Uh, yeah. It looks pretty full though. <laughs> Sorry. Bounce. Oh my god! It looks like it has fingers. I love watching it. I could watch it stick sand in its mouth all day. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it kind of looks like a so tiny cool. dinosaur. What dinosaur? So are many you arms. About? <laughs> you know, like a robot dinosaur. <laughs> Looks like a almost a like triceratops yeah, without the head. Yeah, yeah, with like the big you know? kind of. It's a headless frill. triceratops. Yeah. <laughs> I think we renamed it. <laughs> All right, you guys. Gosh, All right, that's amazing. Yeah. Come on. Can you go back to that? That was a cool too? shot. I've never seen, I've like never that seen one of those things no. before. It's can crazy. Put the name back up so I can put it in the. Oh, yeah, sorry. It's uh, Enipniastes. Headless chicken sea monster. Oh. Oh. It's a monster. Seems super sea monstrous monster. to me. <laughs> to that sediment. Oh, my God. Yeah, the sediment was freaking <laughs> out. <laughs> Yeah, can you imagine being down no. there looking up at that? No. <laughs> Save yourself. I expected the sediment to have a higher voice. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's the weird thing. <laughs> That's the weird thing? That is. That, that That's is. the weird thing about what we were just saying. <laughs> To get a hydrophone would clear all this up. Then yeah. we know. Yeah. 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 We never hear it over the sound of the ROV. That's uh, the shame of it. Yeah. So you'll just have to trust me on exactly <laughs> what sediment voices a sea star. Like, yeah. Oh, there's a sea star. Do you want to look at that? Nope. Nope. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Bring Adam's all business right Only now. Only chicken monsters. Yeah. Headless chicken. Thanks Headless chicken <laughs> monsters. <and laughs> sediment screams. Strictly business. Oh. 
Oh, I think I have a new name for our watch. Oh. oh. The mullet watch. Mullet? Yep. Business up front. Party in the back. <laughs> We're the business room. It's a pretty sad state of affairs if, we, if this is business up here. Never been called oh. business in my life. <laughs> Unprofessional, I've been called. But. The, which does have professional in it. Yeah, that's right. You can't. <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> I'm writing that down, Adam. Thank you. Oh. Very much. <laughs> can I add that to your uh, list of jokes? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jess is actually refresh every after every shower. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, people keep asking if we're drinking a lot of coffee. Oh, I <laughs> certainly am. I Not me, just that. Altoids. <laughs> and plums. I had mine before we came in. <laughs> Altoids and what? Plums. 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 Okay. <laughs> what is it? What is it called? Lee. Lee Hing Moy. Lee Hing Moy. Yeah. Plums. You gotta. You definitely have to like oh clarify. Plums. I just love sour. plums. <laughs> I get a bushel and I go through them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Who doesn't? Who doesn't? Every day I go out with. You want a net. peach? No. <laughs> <laughs> just plums. I'm a plum guy. <laughs> Collecting sea plums. <laughs> Just plums. Just plums. Where do you stand on pluots? <laughs> Just plums. Okay. I don't know what. <laughs> I don't know how to say it any clearer. It's close <laughs> phonetically, but <laughs> not my taste. Not a lot going on here. Really? Nope. Just a few rocks here and there. <laughs> we are still pretty deep. Yeah. 3,600. Yeah. We did see one coral, though. Yeah, that was early on. Single. I don't know what that was. I don't think we ended up zooming on it. Yeah, at the end of your leash there. A geology question. Where is this location in terms of the nearest tectonic plate edge slash boundary? And what type of boundary is it? Ah, uh, that's a great question. Let me turn that back around to you. What do you think is the <laughs> no, <I'm sorry. laughs> We are pretty pretty much in the middle of the <coughs> largest tectonic plate, the Pacific plate. Uh, east of us, we got a bunch of divergent boundaries, mid-ocean ridges. West of us, we got a bunch of convergent boundaries, subduction zones. And uh, we're right near the Hawaiian island chain, which was uh, really important for helping develop the theory of plate tectonics People identified those as stationary mantle plumes, and then you could see this age progressive uh, line of volcanoes. And you could <laughs> use that to track the, the motion of the plate through time. And the Hawaiian uh, chain and the Emperor Seamounts have this really awesome bend in them where the plates, uh, the plate change directions. So sometimes these plates reorganize and start to move in different directions. But back to your original question, we're in the middle of the plate, pretty far away from <laughs> any of the plate boundaries. Yep, middle of the plate. Middle of the plate.
bridge nav. One more step, 100 meters, 350. Thank you. Got any more questions coming in? Let's ask a question of uh, the viewers, if not. <laughs> yeah. What do we want to know? How about some? How about some uh, book recommendations? Yeah. What are book people reading? All right. What is that? Want to zoom? Is that a tongue? Zoom quick on yeah, that. Yeah. This is our yeah. thing. UWO. Huh. Is this the thing that we're looking for? Huh. Oh, yeah, that's definitely a worm, yeah? Yeah. I s we've seen seems one like this in a sediment pile before, too. It seems... I, like bet if we I bet if we touched it, it would go away. It would, like... Evaporate. No, it would, it would not... <laughs> it would teleport to a totally <laughs> new location. That's my guess. No, I think it would retract back into the sediment. I bet if we gonna poke it? put some thruster wash on it. Yeah. I bet if we put it in a circus tent. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> it's a working worm, uh, is it? Circus tent. All right. Come on. Seems like odd that it's surrounded by manganese nodules. Yeah. yeah. Seems to be emerged from that. I think it's starting a mm -hmm. business. Yeah, you know? selling manganese business. It's a terrible business. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Electric so, vehicles. So much manganese. Yeah. Talking to those fish going by, like, hey, <laughs> we got manganese nodules here. <laughs> Ice cold the water. The best nodules. <laughs> <laughs> no alteration. You want to see me juggle these things? <laughs> <laughs> like setting up a lemonade stand in a cul-de-sac. Right. Yeah. <laughs> There was a, yeah, I was at a sporting event in Philly and it was freezing cold outside. Oh, did, and you threw batteries at somebody? <laughs> <laughs> That's like, um, no, there was someone selling food. Oh. And it was I, freezing cold. And they were like soft pretzels, hot dogs, and like they didn't have any heating elements. <laughs> but then the selling point was it was soft pretzels, hot dogs, Ice cold water. <laughs> <laughs> my, my best friends and I, when we like were like salesmen, ten years old, we we did a um, a hot chocolate stand in the middle of the summer. <laughs> <laughs> and it was ninety degrees out. Wow. Hot chocolate and cookies. Do you and know. Wait, you I save know. on heating costs. <laughs> yeah. just have to, it's actually just chocolate. We had like two pity customers. <laughs> uh, it was great. I think I mentioned on a previous watch that I had a lemonade stand, but I also sold my polished rocks, my rock <laughs> polisher. Wow. You didn't mention that you sold your polished rocks. Yes. Well, you, know, you don't get those I think free. the business is in the back row. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have to pay your parents back for the electricity of <laughs> two weeks of polishing the rocks? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I had a month. I had a monthly bill, just like every other kid. <laughs> Rent. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's the white thing? I don't. Know. What? Where? What white thing? This white thing. Bottom we just passed right. it. The first thing we've seen. Back up. <laughs> Ready to stole you. We got. We got to see something. Here. Oh, it's in the. Is that in the? There it is. Oh, there it is. And I'm washing over it. That's all right. It can be a snap soon. It doesn't have to be crazy. All right. Just a quick zoom there, Dave. Is it a gastropod? What is it? It's a piece of plastic. It's a piece of trash. No. That can't be. Is it? Yeah. It is. A little piece of PVC or something. Part of a pipe, yeah. I'm not sure. I think it's a Dumbo trash. Trash. Dumbo trash? 
I thought it had little ears. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, if there is Dumbo octopus, yeah, might there not be Dumbo everything? <laughs> Let's uh, ask point. that to the viewers. <laughs> <laughs> this is the question for the viewers, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Let's turn this one around. <laughs> About to turn this whole car around. <laughs> As a kid, we also had a station wagon where the like back row seat yeah. faced faced it backwards. Oh yeah, yeah. Had the same. It was an old an oldsmobile. We called it the way back. Some people call yes. it the backpack. <laughs> the backpack. <laughs> but I prefer the way back. Yeah, definitely the way back. And it was <coughs> awkward to look at drivers on the like you'd be on the highway and like you're looking right at two yep. ad two adults. <laughs> you're a child. <laughs> make faces make faces at them yeah. yeah try to get trucks to honk their horn <laughs> but if you were on a long stretch of highway it was like fun at first and then I'm like well now we're, now we're this is us for a while <laughs> <laughs> back to our plate question follow-up so would that make these seamounts somewhat of an anomalous feature, seeming as though they don't align with the rest of the Hawaiian chain? Man, this these are, this is a great question. Yeah, seriously, mm -hmm. I'm giving you an honorary degree. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so that that if you kind of look a, look around on a map of the Hawaiian chain, you see there's a bunch of seamounts around that that don't match up. You know, they have like a different path and. And uh, they formed, we, we think these seamounts are Cretaceous age, 114 million years old. That means that they form some 3,000 miles away from where they are right now, kind of rode uh, uh, as the tectonic plate moved uh, westward and, and northwestward and just happened to end up here, you know, next to these active Hawaiian volcanoes. Uh, so snap, snap zoom on this. Great idea. point that that they did. They are right next to Hawaii, but they are not, uh, as far as we know, not related to the to Hawaiian volcanism. But we'll uh, assess that by looking at their chemistry. Looks like a two, a worm at the end. Two yeah. worm. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you can see a little worm on the top there. Yep. Do you guys see many of those? I haven't seen a single one of those so far, but we haven't been in a lot no. of sediment. No. I think we might have picked it out because there's nothing else. <laughs> right. Yeah. All right, come on. It's pretty significant layback here. Just let, let you all know. So stopping is uh, it's not, an not, option. not really an option without losing like a half hour to back mm -hmm. up. All right, one more. So their age won't correlate with the island just north of them that's part of the Hawaiian island chain? Well, Man, I would say really that's, uh, that's one uh, hypothesis for, for the origin and age of these seamounts. So if we find when we do radiometric dating that they are closer to 30 million years in age. And if they have chemistry, Ooh, what's that up there? UWO. W oh, no. Very... Is it another white thing? Yeah, it looks uh, almost identical. What <laughs> is going on here? I am curious if it's if it's some kind of trash. That looks like a sponge. Yeah. Uh, I think that was Basilia at the I base, think it's the snot one. monster attached to one of those white things. Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe. But, yeah, I just wonder if it's something. You know, on a previ on the previous leg, didn't they identify, or they found something that they thought might be ballast? Uh, yeah, yeah, I think that was just a rounded, like a river stone. It's another white stone. I could be wrong. It's weird. But I, I, that one we picked up before was not some yeah. light foam thing. It, like, dropped into the 
the basket. It was, yeah, it was like a stone. It was yeah. it was hard. Yeah. And I gripped it pretty hard with the I just nipped. don't know what that is. Yeah. All right, Jake. Yeah. All right. Go ahead. Come on. Uh, right. So we'll look at the chemistry of the rocks and if they're similar to the Hawaiian chain, that'll be a piece of evidence. If they're similar to the volcanoes to the west of here, which are called the Mid-Pacific Mountains or Mid-Pack Mountains, uh, those are Cretaceous in age. Uh, and then we'll also use uh, radioisotopes, particularly uh, potassium and its daughter isotope argon to um, assess the age of the rocks. And if they're 30 million, that's indication that these are related to Hawaiian volcanism. And if they're 114 million, that's indication they're related to the mid-Pacific mountains. Would that still be considered, if it was the former, would it be considered arch volcanism? Yeah, that would be my guess. So the, the Hawaiian islands are this big, heavy mass on the plate so heavy that it actually causes the plate to bow down uh, right around the islands and it makes a moat. But just beyond where it bows down, it actually bows up. And um, because of that, you can actually slightly lift up or have some upwelling in the mantle beneath that upward bow that can cause uh, the mantle to melt and produce volcanism. So there's this really cool volcanic feature called the North Arch volcanic field, um, super gassy, which is uh, something I like in the, in the lava. But not in people, no. Not in people. <laughs> <laughs> Bridge now. Look at these big piles of sediment. sediment. Yeah. Uh, that looks, okay, that looks like just like another 100 work. meters. What? It's cool. Bearing uh, 350. I mean, we're seeing. Thanks. Piles of sediment on a big thing of rock. Yeah, We're seeing that. unknown white the stones. Is it a tunicate or a sponge or what is this? That That is the same thing that they saw last oh, night. Oh, that's, that's the, the thing that made the mound. Right there. That's what they called the tongue of the spoonworm. And the rest of it is in the pile of sediment. And it retracted for them yesterday. Uh, All the way in. Let's get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh wait, I think there's multiple it's, spoons see, here. Now. There's one there's one on the other side. And the part that's inside is much weirder and grosser. Oh, is this like, like Dune and there's going to be some massive worm underneath here? Like, show them your other side. <laughs> oh my god, look how long it is. Yeah. Wow. This is what I was telling you. Oh, oh is oh, it it's doing coming it? for us. Oh. Nope. I'm blowing it with the thrusters. This is like the, I feel like the earth is an angler fish right now and we're just sitting <laughs> ducks. We are its prey. That is a scary thought, <laughs> Renny. <laughs> uh. Scary and dark, all right. <laughs> no, you're going to need to go soon. All right. Oh, oh there it goes. Oh, doing it. Oh, maybe. See you later. Yep. Look at this. Do yes. it, do it, do it. Like zoom in. Oh, he's like, oh, it takes me like two weeks to get out of this <laughs> yeah. hole. I can't believe. <laughs> uh, there it is. Oh. In this little hole. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> this is. That's so cool. Uh, wow. Awesome. Awesome. I wonder how many are in What's there. What's the rest of the organism um, look like? <laughs> That. Oh no, <laughs> you don't want to see <laughs> it. Oh, okay. You don't want to see it. Yeah. Oh, okay, thank you. No, no, another no, one show, right there. Show, show, we'll show. Let the viewers Google that That's for fine. themselves. This is <laughs> Spoonworm <laughs> Central. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's not pretty. Yeah. It just made the acorn worm look good. <laughs> Wait, can you bring it up on the what? What? Which computer are you on? I'm on my phone. I can. I can I'll just, I'll we can know. bring up her phone. I have <laughs> yeah. it tied into the system. Okay, I'll do it. I got it. That is cool. Underneath all these little sediment pockets and patches, yeah. there's those awesome worms. Yeah, it's better enough to see all look. these mounds. We don't want. We don't need to see it. Wait, wait, yes. <laughs> no. Just does. Just. Oh, just doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> I 
don't <laughs> want to look at that. <laughs> yes, you, you're, you really are going to not want to. <laughs> you can't unsee it. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Whoa, that's fantastic. Yeah. Wait, look at these feeding tracks. They're super wide. Look on the right. On the right? The right? What the Where? hell is that? It's Where is like that? super wide feeding <laughs> tracks. Or maybe it's just effective. Uh, I've been seeing some linear features like in um, in Argus. I wonder if there's a. There's so many of these mounds. Geological. Uh, no, thank you. Spoonworms rule the ocean. Osco I'll just leave is, that up for Kate. Osco's <laughs> super psyched <laughs> that she got to see the spoonworm. Uh, it was a very cool sighting. Yeah. She never thought she could see this in her life, but now she's seen it twice. Wow. She's wow. super excited. Very wow. Cool. Spoonworm. Spoonworm. Band name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I did confirm that it is the snake stars that are on Metallagorgia. Nice. So That's a bit of a non sequitur, but <laughs> super glad. Talking about band names, <laughs> Palagorgia and the snake and the snake oh, stars. Right. Right. That's a great band. Band. Oh yeah, for the band names. Yeah, you're right. Okay, I see what you're saying, Adam. That's like mm -hmm. it's there, a it fat. Uh, I wonder if it's, it's the kind of a juicy, worm. juicy uh, <laughs> track. All these mounds. <laughs> Spoonworm clearing. <laughs> what is the spoon? What, what is it in capture? What's the spoon worm eating? Mm -hmm. That's a good question. ROVs. Yeah. Hopefully not. Jake, on that mound there, you see how there's little yeah, two, two dots? Two little holes. Yeah. What are those? Because I see th we're seeing a lot of those little two dot things. I wonder if it's pig snouts in the ground. Two, if it's spoonworm related or if it's. I have some okay. feeling something's going to jump out, and it's. What what could jump out? I don't know. It's oh. Like spoonworm. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's what amazing. Why not really? Ooh. Just out of morbid curiosity. Uh, yeah, I want to zoom. <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> oh, no. It's like two oh, eyes gazing into <laughs> my soul. <laughs> I'm really digging this worm, guys. Yep. Hey. What? At ship goggles. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. I Adam. just learned it. I just learned it. <laughs> <laughs> Most are deposit feeders collecting edible bits from the bottom of the sea. Yep. Edible bits. Edible bits. That's what they eat. <laughs> <laughs> well, Halotherian does a lot cuter. <laughs> that is actually my favorite cereal. <laughs> edible bits. Edible oh, bits. Edible <laughs> <laughs> Don't accidentally buy the inedible bits. <laughs> Holothurian crunch. <laughs> so are all of these mounds containing spoonworm? I, ha I, I have a feeling I that that's a yes. I think so. <sighs> Adam, I think we need to do some excavation for our yeah. watch. <laughs> you want to get back on that scoop? <laughs> <laughs> get back on the scoop. <laughs> You know, they have some like manganese nodule <laughs> deposits under there. They're really the hoarders of the ocean. Oh. Ooh. Hmm. There's another one. I found a whole Pinterest page of spoonworms. Oh my <laughs> god. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm not Pinterested. <laughs> <laughs> Totally uninterested. <laughs> that's, a, that's a creepy little corner of the internet. <laughs> I honestly do not understand Pinterest at all. Like sometimes I search something and then it 
takes me to Pinterest and I click on it and they're like, nope, <laughs> you can't see it. I'm yeah. like, what? Didn't someone else just find uh, it on the internet? <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. I have mild regret from Googling spoonworms, but according to the internet, you can eat them. Oh, oh no. Nope. 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Wait, how do we say cook how? Them? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. How do we prepare Air them? fryer? <laughs> Let me check Pinterest. Uh, <laughs> I, can't, I, I can't think about food right now, Justin. Yeah, my appetite. <laughs> that is. So is that a no? <laughs> there must be like more of a coastal spoonworm or something. Because like, <laughs> who is getting these guys to eat? <laughs> Intertidal spoonworm. The future of aquaculture. Oh, that would be a terrible future. <laughs> well, we're gonna be eating bugs, right? So bugs yeah. and spoonworms. Oh, what is this? Trash? Yeah, let's see what we got. Oh, oh what could it be? What could it be? Can of beans. And since somebody's going to ask again, we don't pick up trash because we are saving our sample bins it's space for what them. What are the chances it just landed Samples. right on that ophioroid <laughs> and just... <laughs> it's been <laughs> for, for 20 years. Ow. <laughs> what is it in there, Dave? <laughs> <laughs> Shasta? What the, but that's a purple Shasta? It doesn't look like Shasta. <laughs> <laughs> Shasta grape. What is that? First? Shasta grape. That's an old, that's that a old that style Yeah, that's vintage Shasta. Yeah. Just pinned it. <laughs> what under there. Pinned by that can. I say we free him. I say we free him. <laughs> Did you say it was pinned? <laughs> <laughs> so quick. Uh, all right, come on. <laughs> Yeah, get out of here. <laughs> I'll be gone before someone drops a house on you. Yeah, the little arms curl up, <laughs> take his shoes. Uh. You can see the spoonware mounds in Argus. <laughs> get out of that zone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, Ooh, track city. Tracks. Yeah. Hmm. Track Town, USA. Anyone know where that is? Track Tracton. Eugene, Oregon. That's right. They just have like a bunch of velodromes. No, they have they have a really rich track and field history there. Uh, a guy named Steve Prefontaine. They worship a particular god. His name is Pre. Yeah. It's a <laughs> colony of mutants in the middle of Oregon. <laughs> Where I lived, Dave, for five years of my life. I live uh, one hour away <laughs> in Florence. Oh, really? Nice. Yep. One of our viewers says that can is from the 1960s. Oh, wow. so what, what was it? I would say that's correct. <coughs> was it Shasta? Shasta. Yeah, Shasta grape. Yeah. Like or you can say Shasta, Shasta grape with want. pull tab. I we didn't get around to the front of it, but I'd bet it had a pull tab. Yeah. That was. A, I'm glad we're past those days. Of pull tabs. Yeah. In Shasta. <laughs> Didn't they come fully off? You just had this thing you had to the deal with? Sharp thing? Yep. Yeah, sharp thing to deal with. Step on it. All right, what's the C star? You want to get a quick zoom on this star? Wait, you mean we're going to identify it? Hold on. <laughs> Let me get my web page up here. Uh. Well, it's got five, oh, yeah, Adam. five arms. Oh, it's going to take a while. <laughs> five arms. Uh, it's kind of orange, peachy color. Yeah, <laughs> sure. <laughs> and it's roughly star shaped. Yeah. yeah. Five, you say. Five? Five. <laughs> okay. It's There's on the seafloor. 
literally only 600 to choose from. <laughs> 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 all, right, all right, come on. Man, our layback is crazy. Uh, push out there. Say Goni Asteridae. That's Goni like Asterid. that's the oh, do you see that big yeah. name for all of them. What did you see, Rene? Oh, uh, it's just a tether, tether management system. Oh. We have a viewer Sounds checking like in PMS. from Beaverton, PMS. Oregon. Hey, Beaverton. That's such an Oregon town name. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Um. Yeah, we could. Should we, we could, pause for the next? We could one. pause, or just call in another and pause. I think that call in another. I think they'll be fine. Oh okay. right, we're we're oh. late. We're just laid back a bit, so we're, we're but only like fifty or so meters. Oh my gosh, there's oh, some stuff happening. <laughs> yeah, what do we got? A sponge over here? Yeah, I think so. Oh, wait, I don't know. Is it? Stocked. Stocked. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they got the plenty of... Like it's not one. very hilly, so if we're trying to cover ground... That's a... Uh, oh, is that the two of one? Yeah. I'm gonna zoom quick here, and then I'll pick up and go. Bridge now. We'll stop five zero meters, three five zero. Thank you. Can we yeah. look at that other Stocks white one? Yeah. Hello, stylus. All right, come on. Hop over to this guy. Get a quick zoom there. Trash? No, same thing we picked Kinda up. Kind of the same, yeah. Yeah. That's a weird that? thing. That is the right, first thing I'm going to look at ahead. when that. All right, come on. ROV right, comes zoom up. Yeah. We've got Corvallis, Oregon, checking in, too. Go Beavs, home of <laughs> Oregon State University. Beaver believers. David, did you say the beaver believers? <laughs> I did. <laughs> okay, so yeah. that, that took a minute to sports, register. Sports fans. Not related to Justin Bieber, then? No. Ah, right. The Oregon State Beavers. Uh, and I live closer to Eugene, but I am not a Duck fan. Sorry, Adam. No, no problem. Oh, right, right. But Jess, what did you say? Did you say Beaver Belieber? Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> that was what <laughs> I was clarifying. <laughs> you can hence my confusion, right? You're yeah. Right. He's Canadian. There's a an enemy or something? Yeah. Seem to be out of the spoon worm zone. Oh, I just passed Zoom in little. here. Yeah. Nice. Nice focus. I think we've been seeing a few of these over the course of the dives. All right, come back, go ahead. How 
much ground are you hoping to cover with this dive here, Adam? Uh, about 6K. Oh, <laughs> Well, we lost an hour to water, but since we've been on bottom, I think we'll have like 700 meters covered. Nice. So let's see, how are we doing? We've done 6.25 so far. Time our ship move is done. Yeah, it's about 700. So about a kilometer every watch is theoretically possible. 24 divided by 4 is 6. 6 kilometers. Right on the nose. Look at that. Boom. Boom. Just no stopping. No stopping. And uh, we're going to have to just stay down there. We can't recover. That's going to eat up two hours. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think it's... It's the end of the season anyway, you know. Yeah. It's not a huge deal <laughs> if we go just come back in a over few months, get the vehicle. Twenty four. Yeah, we got the time. The uh, whiteboard says something about transit and Argus only dive. So yeah. That's a ship rumor. A whispers. A whispers. Dark biosphere. <laughs> Dark biosphere. Dark biosphere. <laughs> Argus only. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm supposed to build a baseball field. <laughs> <laughs> I think it will come. Yeah. If you do. The dark biosphere. Ease its pain. Jess and Jake, can you answer an ROV question? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Do any of the ROV systems require special technology or modifications to deal with increased salinity, specific density, increased pressure, and how and low temperatures as the depth uh, increases? That's they, an interesting question. I think they all deal with all, all of that. Almost. Yeah, but if there are any... In different ways, yeah. But I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if... Um, Special Take modifications it. that we make, no, not necessarily, um, on like a day dive dive basis. But if you were to say want to dive in the in a highly saline environment, um, you probably would want to change your foam packs and stuff like that. The densities would be different. Maybe I don't know. I'm speculating here. Yeah. No. So I think how do you deal with high pressure? Like what what on the ROV? Like you don't you got stuff uh, sitting in. Oil, right? Yeah. Instead of. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's. We got a. Yeah, we, we have um, oil filled J boxes and um, with positive pressure on them. Cables filled with oil. And we have no air. We want to have no air on board unless we have these large instrumentation bottles. Um, and those we backfill with liquid, with liquid nitrogen. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> <laughs> with nitrogen gas. Um, they're also made out of a very specific type of metal with very thick thicknesses in order to counteract all the pressure. The other thing with the saline environment is we attach anodes um, to the vehicle um, because of uh, corrosion that happens due to uh, it's losing electrons to the uh, Seawater, I think, something like that. Yeah, so. it's like um, yeah, the anodes are usually made out of zinc, and I think they, for some reason, will preferentially corrode over the aluminum and yeah, steel. Some chemistry stuff, you know. Huh. Wow, you guys weren't physics majors, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so dissimilar metals in uh, saline solution uh, yeah. form a battery. Current flow transports electrons between the dissimilar metals and causes them to degrade. Nice. So the zinc instead, uh, it more freely gives up electrons, uh, and it's a sacrificial anode. Uh, it'll eat away, uh, but it more uh, 
freely gives up electrons than the aluminum or the steel. Does and it steel, but not aluminum, from what I understand. Yeah, okay. So you wouldn't want... Yeah. I could be wrong, but I believe that... Yep. I was talking with K2 about it, and he's like, if you put zinc on aluminum, then... The zinc is your boat, right? Then the and zinc, the aluminum yeah. is yeah. your sacrifice. Yeah. But uh, but we have obviously some aluminum on the vehicle, but it gets it gets fuzzy. Yeah, it's very fuzzy. Does the zinc come up looking noticeably different, Dave? Can we zoom on these things real? Sure. Quick? It's no. a sea pig right there, maybe. <laughs> sea pig. They, the anodes don't look terribly different dive to dive, but over the course of a of a season, it gets visibly deteriorated. Okay. The ghost is a nice looking one. It's waving. <laughs> Hello. Oh. Nope. No. Oh, don't don't show us that. <laughs> is that the front or the back of the mm. thing? Do you think? Both. Oh. <laughs> The other one was really cute with the little arms shoving yeah. sediment yeah. in his mouth. We like that one. All right, if you want to get go. the other one, then you're going to have to get it before right. we have to go. Come a little bit wide, Dave. It's okay. It's the white anemone we've yeah. seen like oh, a okay. bunch of. Never mind. Full wide. Let's skip over him. Yeah. Scoot my head. I got a question for the front row. Oh gosh! I know it's it's not bad. Have you ever uh, missed the start of your watch? Uh, I've been no. late. Well, we'll always wake everyone up, so we're not gonna let anyone sleep in. Jess had to wake me up the first week. I appreciated it one, greatly. One time I was oh, going yeah, I, I was going from uh, eight to twelve watch to twelve to four. And I think like a day or two in, I still hadn't adjusted, so I was I was like not getting any sleep. So I, yep, I slept in a little bit late for one of my watches. Slept through lunch, but it happens when you're on weird schedules. I have a uh, crippling anxiety that prevents that. From <laughs> 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 oh, lucky you. Um, yeah. <laughs> When it happened, I came up so fast out of my bunk, I hit my head. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh. Yep. Yep. I overslept for a Alvin dive one time. Oh, and that's got to be. Well, no, someone came and got me, but I literally got into the sub with, like, the pillow lines still on my <laughs> face. Oh, <man>. <laughs> <laughs> that is rough. Did you still get your two sandwiches? I got my two sandwiches. A little trail. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I definitely wake up at like an hour before watch. And then if it's dark out, it was light before, you know, it's like kind of our midday nap or something. I, I take a minute of panic to myself and try to figure out what time of day it is and if I was supposed <laughs> to be on shift. And oh, yeah. Or if you're in the room with no porthole, which I am, <laughs> wake up in the middle of the day and have no clue yeah. where I am, when I am, anything. <laughs> when, yeah. Yeah, when I've been in a room with no porthole, I f literally think I could sleep for like six <laughs> days. <laughs> yeah. You've yeah. been asleep for 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Cruise is over. <laughs> I think uh, Argus will start to slow in speed, but still catch up. Okay. Round. Just trying to cover that ground. Yeah. Oh. We'll leave the next watch in good condition. We had a question about the sea pigs. They are a type of sea cucumber. Yeah, that was not a sea pig. That was a misidentification on my part. Yeah. They have little 